So, Jamie, everyone has been waiting for the Laurie Strobe and the um, Michael Myers reunion. <laughs> so, what can fans expect in this edition? So, I think what fans can really expect is the truth. The truth about what happens when you have a trauma 40 years ago. Um, it's a movie about trauma and generational trauma. And really at its core, it's about a young woman whose life was altered by this random act of violence. And hopefully it, it resolves with a woman being able to take back the narrative of her life um, away from her perpetrator. Let's talk a little bit more detail in detail about your character. Where did we leave her 40 years ago? And how will people relate to her today? The last time anybody saw Laurie Strode, she was in the hallway of her house. Um, uh, Michael Myers had been shot by this savior, this doctor who she didn't know. And the last thing she said in the movie to the doctor was that it was the boogeyman, that she understood through the trauma of what occurred that there is a pure evil and that this creature was the boogeyman. That was the last time we saw her. Now, 40 years later, we find her living in isolation. She's had her child taken from her years ago. <clears throat> she has a grandchild she has a little relationship with, but very little. She has no friends. She lives in total isolation, total preparedness. She has perseverated on this idea that Michael Myers was going to return for her and she had to be prepared and she had to prepare and protect her family. That is her mantra. She had a mantra every day, prepare, protect, prepare, protect. That's all she did. Eat, drink, sleep, eat, prepare, protect. And that's who we see. So 40 years before she was a victim of, a, of violence and now 40 years later she is this warrior, wounded warrior, on the hunt. And speaking about the boogeyman, what do you think it is about Michael Myers that makes him so frightening? And you know that horror has evolved since we've seen him. So is it still the same fright level? Are we still gonna get that from this edition of Halloween? You know, I can't tell what people are gonna feel. That's, that's, I, um, I can tell you that I've seen the movie with audiences. And <clears throat> it is a very powerful reaction. David Gordon Green has made a very scary movie with some um, incredibly violent and shocking set pieces in the midst of a story about a wounded warrior. And it's extraordinary. What is it about Michael Myers that makes him so scary to everyone? I know that there are a lot of film schools where people have tried to understand and dissect what is, what are the elements that make Michael Myers such a terrifying creature. I think there's the fact that he's human but inhuman. He's there but enigmatic. He is faceless, emotionless, and yet impervious. And that combination is just terrifying. I, it's hard to explain why.